T.D. Jakes might really like little effeminate boys, for real. I pray that a special anointing will rest upon them. these your servants, as you have sent them out into the vineyard to work in the heat of the days. I pray, God, that you will cover them and protect them and guide them and keep them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. The two boys on their knees in front of T.D. Jakes are Passion Java and Lovi Elias, two very effeminate, by-presenting young men. And T.D. Jakes is laying hands on them, but this is a response to something. Before Passion Java and Lovi Elias, there was Manasseh Jordan. And if you know anything about Manasseh Jordan, he comes from the other side of Christianity, the strange side with the witches and the warlocks and the spells and the psychic readings and stuff. And it was very strange for T.D. Jakes to be the one to take him in. But when T.D. Jakes took him in, according to Manasseh Jordan, T.D. Jakes tried to groom him. I'm going to be going through some of the messages that um, T.D. sent to me. And um, this has been a very hard emotional journey for me. From what I understand about Manessa Jordan, Manessa Jordan wasn't about to swallow up nothing. So T.D. Jakes didn't get to groom him. And now here we are again. We see T.D. Jakes mixing with the weird side of Christianity. And I said to myself, why would T.D. Jakes go to the weirdo side of Christianity where there are witches, warlocks, and spells cast, and all kinds of psychic readings and stuff, and lay his hands on these two men. And it hit me when I saw it. I said, he's doing this in response to the relationship that he missed with Manasseh. I can hear T.D. Jakes right now in his mind. Oh, Manasseh, if you would have let me, I would have laid my hands on you. I would have done this for you, Manasseh. Church, it is very imperative that we wake up. We see preachers like T.D. Jakes and Noel Jones who corrupted the church through psychological means. And now they're laying hands on witches, warlocks, and sorcerers so that they can corrupt the church through demonic means. We really need to come to grips with the fact that the church that is popular, the church that is mainstream, is being led in the wrong direction. The scripture says, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And I am one to tell people, let's stand on the word. And that's why I want you to follow us here. Also subscribe to the unction on our YT channel, where we give the word of God and depend on the spirit of God to edify the people of God, because something is wrong in this church environment. And we need to stay in the word. Please support us, subscribe to the unction on our YT channel. We're growing and we're going forward.